Dirty rotten scoundrels. Yeah, I remember I was during the harvest today. In fact, I think I pig hunted last time we were here. We were here, last time you were here was three years ago. I remember pulling back around in the truck. To get higher, talking about here now. Here now. Here now. I can make you. Search for sync on your device and select sync once it is found. We are going to near Okeechobee, Florida. We're all set. Let's go. And forgive us our trespasses. Not a mile. I've already turned around. I'm on 68 right now, headed back to 95. Okay. I, I can see the, the 95 sign. Okay. All right, so get on 95 and go one more exit. That should be Oak Coast Road. Gotcha. Okay. Alright, I passed all the stores, crossed under the bridge, and I'm headed west. Okay. I'm about to pull in. Set drive safely. <laughs> <laughs> Although sometimes we kind of think of it. <gasps> oh, man. How are you? Good, buddy. Is it Rob? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I 
rather sit up against a tree, but we'll sit in a blind. So where are you coming from? Uh, we're up in, we're, right now we're staying up in uh, Geneva, but we're, we're up there hunting. And then, boy, they just, they shut down. There's a hen. There's a hen. That's what flew down. Is that her right there? As much as we want to kill a goblin, we will. It tickles me to death to fool one of these hens at this time of year, too. Yes, that's a fact. Blessed is the man that trusteth in Jehovah, and whose trust Jehovah is. Jeremiah 17, 7. Man, I tell you what, we are so blessed. We are blessed. <laughs> I'm so excited. It was one thing to know that I was coming down here. I've hunted with Danny since you introduced me to him. Yeah. Then when I showed up and you stepped out, I was really, <laughs> man, it just made my day. Well, it made mine uh, too. There's nothing like turkey hunting, but especially when you do it with a friend. I agree, buddy. And somebody that's passionate about it. I think that's why I love it so much. Yeah. I took a Zuni hunter and he takes his satchel off his neck and he pulls out a fetish and the Zunis are known for all having fetishes but the Zuni hunters had uh, predators. All of them were animals that of course would prey upon others and so the hunters carried those and he presented this to me, handed it across the gut pile and he said, you're my brother. He said, you're a hunter. And he said, you'll be the grizzly bear. And he said, the turquoise represents the blue of the mountains and the blue of the Pacific Ocean. And he said, for you to kill again, to have the strength to call those turkeys in or whatever you're hunting, you always must feed the bear. <laughs> and so, all the other Zunis took their fetishes out. And every animal represented a different point of the compass. And every time that you kill, make sure that the big bear eats. <laughs> so when I sent pictures out, so the guys were coming back, looks like the big bear ate. <laughs> well, the big bear will get to eat one more time. Yeah. And so, he gets really a, a workout. This spring he's, uh, he's ate, he's been eating very well. So the bear has eaten, and you, my friend, have uh, been part of another ritual that, uh, to me, gives honor I to agree. what we've just done. First of all, good Lord just has to smile on you. He smiled on us today. He did. So, anyway, my friend, it's been a pleasure and an honor once again. I love Same you, Dad. Thing, buddy, you know I love you too. He's a good bird. Yes, he is. is. Hey, Danny. Have you ever seen a bad one? <laughs> <laughs>
Narko manga, narko ka manga. You are so awesome, thank you. Yes ma'am, thank you. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no worries, I'm honored. That's my souvenir. Oh, well, thank oh my you. gosh, you are the best. Thank you for asking me. That's the last set of decoys. I know I don't look like I'm going turkey hunting, but indeed we are going turkey hunting. We're going to Indiana. Hey, 
Mm. Chili over here. Maybe there might be some uh, Turkish goblin uh, over here. Hey, who's this guy? What's up, man? <laughs> where's the... Uh, That's why I don't know what the killing field is. Oh. Where's, the, <laughs> where's the most jigs? I don't know. I've already killed two this year, dude. Well, I'm thinking if we go in there first thing, because that's where they roost, we might be able to pull one off the roost. Oh. Yeah, first chamber. Racking for my brand new Browning Masses. Love getting new guns. And this is the most up to date. As you can see, I put the old dead ringer on her last night. I'm good to go this morning. A little mossy oak bottom land gun. Match up for what we're doing in the springtime. Turkey killing. to my right down the road like where you at in that field it's behind it's it's to my right no i'm facing away from the truck facing the uh you know square away from the road When I, the last I heard them, yeah, about the three o'clock, yeah. Okay. Go back over there, we're we'll still trying to call them. Send their gobble. All right, we're going to go all the way around. You maybe just get in on the Okay, all right. Yeah, they passed me up. They're way down there. Success. We almost gave up, man. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Almost gave up. Big old hook.
were patient and we took our time and we was fixing to leave and we heard one gobble. He started going round and round. We didn't, and nobody knows where he's gonna stop, but he didn't stop. He kept going around and he made it circle back to us. And he came in, I don't know if he was coming to the decoys, but it looked like it. And uh, he came close enough, we and I put a shot on him and got him. I mean, perfect, he did perfect.